All right, guys. Well, it's uh, a couple days after New Year's. The car is very dirty. And I don't mean muddy dirty. I just mean it's it's been sitting in the parking lots. The dust is from the construction has been landing on it. And I need to wash it. I want to throw a, a heavy concentration of foam on there, a, a soap that... It will do some nice cleaning. So I'm gonna use the Max Power from Turtle Wax. You know, stuff's five bucks at Walmart. Dump a bunch of it in there and it's supposed to be really, really strong at cleaning. I feel it does a good job at that. So we're gonna use that. Now for my regular wash, I'm gonna use the Ceramic Bubble from Fictech. And this is one of those ones that you can use to top your ceramic coatings, top off your car. It has SiO2 in it and i'm just gonna put this in a wash i'm gonna get a wash bucket for my rag but or for my uh my mitt not my rag but my mitt but i'm gonna add a little bit of this to the wash bucket and i'm really gonna put it on the mitt and wash the car by hand like that and i think it i just find that they do a better job when you put them directly on the mitt and rub them onto the paint and then i'll be rinsing the car off drying it off and we'll see if i use a a topper after this or not but uh, this is really my wash topper all built into one so let's go all right we're gonna do a little rinse here the pressure washer and might as well check out the beading seal that's holding up this car is coated in Gion pure two coats two layers and one layer of can coke it has been topped over regularly with different rinseless washes and detail sprays etc So as you can see, the different toppers eventually start to cake up on the car. And we're looking to really clear up this paint. We want to clean it up a little bit. We're using that uh, Turtle Wax Max Power to try to cut some of this down, whatever's on, on top of there, and just clean out the pores. So from the side of the car to the glass, very hydrophobic. The hood, well, I mean, it's got some, some hydrophobics on here, but something that I've put on there starting to cake up. So the hydrophobics are pretty poor there. I would say the coating is absolutely underneath whatever stuff is built up on there. So let's get to foaming this thing, try to clean it up and get the hydrophobics back.
on some thick, thick product here all over the car. And we're gonna let it sit. It's nice and cool today, almost cold. And we're gonna let it just do its thing and work on whatever is clogging up the protection. And it's really only in this area, so it's definitely something that I've applied lately. I can't think of what my last product that I applied on here was, but this is what's going on. Okay, we've been letting the product sit for about six minutes here. It is finally time to rinse it off. As you can see, it is dripping everywhere. And let's see if this alone has cleaned out the pores. Now remember, this is the Turtle Wax Max Power. So let's see if this works. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, the water is absolutely not hydrophobic. Let's put some Fic Tech ceramic bubble on here and see how that works. I mean, it wants to sheet the water, so there's some protection there, but there's something in between the coating, and uh, we need to either top this or cut it down. We're gonna go with topping. We've got the Fic Tech ceramic bubble. stuff smells really good let's put a little bit on the on here now we're gonna leave this for five minutes before I rinse it off. I'm gonna go around and finish the car. All right guys, while well, we're letting this sit here, I can tell you right away that this stuff smells phenomenal. Some type of citrus scent, I'm not really sure. It's got great lubrication. That, that mint lid was gliding all over the paint. So let's just wait a little bit longer and we'll rinse it. Let's see if this really did uh, top it up with some SiO2. Okay, it has been about four minutes, maybe even five. Let's rinse this off here.
Well, if you look at it now, it sure has beefed up the hydrophobics. That's that's the real deal soap, guys. Thick tech ceramic bubble. I mean, that brought that panel right back to life. Pretty good, very impressive. Let's take one more look. Here I have Tech Choice, the regular ceramic, and mixed in with a little bit of their graphene uh, mix. So it's kind of two in one. Alright guys, so did you like the video? If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. This is a quick one, and today I just needed to wash off all the old 2021 gunk off my car. And, you know, this car has been driven for over, over about a week now, back and forth through construction zones. We had uh, fireworks, we had wind, different rain, a lot of, lot of dust everywhere. So. I wanted to try some new products today. I've been wanting to try Fictech Ceramic Bubble 203, all right? Uh, I picked this up at Detailer's Domain, and they have a lot of Fictech products. This stuff smells fantastic. I don't remember what the price of it was. It might have been somewhere around $18 or something like that. I'm not really sure, but <clears throat> not too cheap, not too expensive, just right around right around uh, that price there. So I came out here, I wanted to rinse my car off, check out the beading, make sure. I haven't really been checking the beading too much. I've been messing around with it, playing with different products on it. And I don't always post all my washes on YouTube. I like to play with products a lot and then put them on YouTube. But uh, this time I went to rinse it off and check the beading and you know what? The whole car beads like crazy, but the hood wasn't beading, so something, uh, and I don't remember what I put, but I just put it on the hood and I know it was something I can't think of what it was But that product whatever it was is clogging up the the coating or has weak protection and uh, and is showing on the hood so I need to clean it. I grabbed the max power. I Don't even know how much I dumped into this but probably a good 
seven or eight ounces into the top of a foam cannon. I sprayed that car with it. I let it sit for five or six minutes on there and then I rinsed it off. I went to check the beading. Did it get any better? It got a little bit better. Probably if I wash it by hand with that, it'll, it'll clean it up um, and make it bead again. But I didn't feel like doing that. I just rinsed it off and I wanted to try out the Fictech ceramic bubble. So with this one, I just put it on a clean wash mitt. I just put a little bit of it, a little couple gobs of it on there and uh, I washed the whole car. Now you wanna let this stuff sit on the car for four to five minutes. This stuff smells fantastic. It is very, very good with the lubrication between the wash mitt and the paint. I mean, very, very good. This stuff glides, you feel it. You got nice um, soap action or sudsing around the car when you're using this and washing your car. So I used it, smells, smells amazing. And uh, I buy a, a heck of a lot of that. I may go back. I don't know if I can get a gallon of it, but that stuff's awesome. And uh, I let it sit for four to five minutes. I rinsed that car off and I was dying to get back to the hood and see, is this gonna bring back the hydrophobics? And sure enough, it brought it back and it brought it back really, really good. Um, it did a, did a fantastic job at at bringing back those hydrophobics. So whatever they're putting inside this is, is very, very strong. And it just does a very, very nice job. I know I use a lot of SiO2 topper soaps and uh, I don't get this opportunity to test a lot of them, but in this capacity where I, where I know I got protection, but something's there and I wanna bring it back. This one, phenomenal guys, this is the real deal. Go out there and buy some Fictech Ceramic Bubble 203. Buy it before I get more of it and buy it, buy the rest of it out. Uh, that's the real deal. That's why we use those type of soaps, those SiO2 soaps, and you top your, your paint over with it. And don't worry if sometimes your car doesn't bead, there's a reason for it. It's clogged, something happened. You just need to fix the problem. In my case, well, we fixed it with that. I mean, we could have gone a lot of routes. We could have sprayed a spray on rinse list. We could apply something else. We could really go down and, and strip wash it. We, we could really dive deep into what the issue is, but no need with the SIL2 soap like uh, Fictech Ceramic Bubble. That's what that does. It does a good job. It brings back the hydrophobics. It washes nice. Car looks fantastic. Great shine. I didn't even use a detail spray today and I'm very, very content and happy with the way it looks. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos and try this one out for sure. This may make one of my top listers, may make. Talk to you later.